I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. I had no intention of filming an episode of Late Bloomer today, but after the most dramatic rainstorm that I can recall in years, I couldn't pass it up. The cold and the rain didn't lend itself to working in the garden today, so I figured I'd skip a day. Wrong. Sunflowers grow so fast, and you think you've secured them. But when the wind picks up and you look out and they're bent sideways, you know, you got to bundle up and get out there and secure them again, which I did. It was kind of fun getting wet in the rain, till lightning and a thunderclap brought me to my senses. I had one close call when lightning cracked and thunder roared over my head. Oh, dear. I was shaking but I wanted to save as much rainwater as I could while it was pouring off our roof. So I used all of our waste bins. <laughs> In 2007, we did a green renovation on part of our house. And one of the things I investigated was installing a rainwater collection system. Rainwater is loaded with minerals and is wonderful for your garden. In Southern California, we have to use city water, which, unless you have a filtration system on your house, can be loaded with chemicals and salts. Not great for vegetables. Unfortunately, I didn't find the right filtration system for our setup here, and it rains so seldom it's hard to justify the expense. Boy, did I regret not having a rainwater collection system today. <laughs> Check out my rainwater collection system. That was two hours ago, and it's all quiet now, and I'm going out to investigate. Look what came out after the rain. Hi, Kay. Hey, Brooke. Just in time. Remember when I had mold on the peas? Yeah. Now I've got powdery mildew on my zucchini. I know. What am I going to do? Well, I've got quite a bit of um, rainwater from my garden. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with that water? What? I'm going to use it on the garden. All of that? Yeah. You know why? Why? Because rainwater has a lot more minerals in it than the water that comes out of the faucet. It does? Yep. Well, that will help. I'll be using all this water on my garden in the coming days. I just have to figure out what to do with my trash in the meantime. As Jack, my biodynamic farmer friend, says, you have to live in the garden for it to prosper. On a day like today, you can't live in the garden. You just have to secure it as best you can and wait for the sun to come back out, which it always does. Thanks for watching Late Bloomer. See you next time. No time to put on waterproof pants. Oh, well. I'll just climb in the dryer. Sun always comes out. <laughs>